Thank you, gentlemen. I now recognize Mr. Kustoff from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, for, sir, for appearing today. I can't, I want to follow back up on, on Mr. S's, S's question about uh, JCT and maybe Mr. Arrington. So we've heard the JCT estimate about the loss of, uh, of $120 billion. You, you've disputed that or you gave your argument against that. Has Treasury presented its argument to JCT to, to challenge their assumption? Well, Congressman, I'm not challenging JCT's assumptions. All I'm doing is, is um, pointing out the, the totality of JCT's analysis, um, which, again, assumes a baseline of 40-plus jurisdictions implementing Pillar 2, uh, and then analyzes uh, five scenarios. Um, and in each of those, uh, again, uh, adoption of Pillar 2 by the U.S. increases U.S. tax revenue as compared to, to not adopting. Uh, but I do think it's important to, to take into account the, the baseline adoption by uh, 40 major economies in the world uh, and many of our, our largest trading partners. Well, let, me, let me ask it a different way. Do you dispute JCT's assertion about the loss of $120 billion? I am, all I'm pointing out is, is that the JCT analysis uh, is for multiple scenarios, um, many of which show um, U.S. tax revenue increases. You would agree with me that JCT is nonpartisan, <laughs> correct? Yes. All right. And I asked you a question. I, I don't think I got a direct answer. Treasury has not disputed or gone to JCT and disputed their analysis, have they? I am, has Treasury disputed that with JCT? I am not aware of, of Treasury disputing uh, that analysis with All JCT. Right. So let's assume Pillar 2 goes into effect. What I've heard from, from different uh, businesses and companies is the issue of compliance and compliance cost. I mean, a real practical, pragmatic matter. And if I could, uh, Deloitte, from their website, uh, when they talk about Pillar 2, I want to read you this, this quote and see if you can help me figure it out. Completing the new OECD Pillar 2 information return represents a global undertaking requiring hundreds of data points, many of which are complex composites of underlying data. The size and complexity of the data requirements are further complicated by timing. While in many cases the first return has an 18-month lead time following the accounting period end, Subsequent returns must be filed in less time. So even before you complete your first return, you will need to make decisions about ongoing compliance and reporting." Close quote. Ms. Plotkin, has, has the Treasury Department conducted any study or any analysis on the compliance, I'm going to say burden, compliance burden or cost as it relates to Pillar 2 for U.S. businesses? We share the concern about compliance burden, um, and this has been a, a central issue for our team in these discussions. Um, and we are seeking to reduce compliance burden wherever possible. So for example, um, there's a country by country reporting safe harbor uh, for two years that um, provides that um, no top up tax is due with respect to a jurisdiction if the uh, country by country reporting uh, shows an effective tax rate in a jurisdiction uh, above a, a certain threshold. Um, that is intended to uh, provide taxpayers with time uh, to uh, phase in their uh, compliance uh, in various jurisdictions, focusing first on the highest risk jurisdictions. Right. There, there's also a, um, in, in the Globe information uh, return, so the Pillar 2 uh, tax return that was released on Monday, uh, there is a five-year transition period that provides for jurisdictional reporting as opposed to entity-by-entity uh, -entity reporting. That, again, uh, was intended to reduce compliance burden uh, for taxpayers by reducing the amount of, of uh, specific information that, that needs to be provided. I, I appreciate the answer. Let me ask my question again. Has Treasury conducted any study as it relates to the uh, issue of compliance or compliance cost? 
Uh, I am not aware of any such study. Okay, fair enough. So, so Treasury, let me just ask as my time expires, Treasury has no data as it relates to the issue of compliance or compliance cost, correct? Uh, again, I'm not aware of any study in okay. that regard. If, if there was, would you agree to share that with this committee? Uh, I can check on that uh, and, and get back to the committee. Can you, let, can you let us know one way or the other whether that exists? Will you agree to that? I, I will check on that and get back to the Thank committee. you. I yield back. 